I've been on the hunt to find some cute kitchen towels but I just couldn't find the patterns that I prefer so I decided that I'm going to buy some fabric and I'm just going to hem them and create some kitchen towels which I'm going to mostly use under the cutting board so it doesn't move as I'm cutting and also if I pack food for myself or for my family I like to wrap all the dishes in this one in this type of uh, kitchen towels that are a little bit more festive. Ironing the fabric first definitely helps to make the sewing easier. Jot has been working outside a lot and now he's working on the chicken coop and more specifically on the chicken run. We're also going to create some gates here and there so the chicken can go into different areas to eat outside but still being in the safe side from the predators what are you guys doing huh what are you guys doing can i come in pok, pok. hello oh guys or actually girls that's a lot of eggs i need a bucket Ooh. Do you guys have a basket or something? No? Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Oh, what did you do? Did you just jump? Hello. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Pop, pop. Oh, you guys can come out now. I'm going to close it. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, so it's cold again. Hopefully, it will warm up again. So, ew, it's cute, but ew, are you cold? Oh, guys, this poor thing must be cold. Does it have? No? So this is the hot tub situation here. As you guys can tell, it's not pretty. <laughs> it is very old, so we need to take that out. First, Joat need to, I don't know, do something with the water, detach the water or something. Um, and then we can start to remove this whole hot tub. And then we can start to do something with this patio down on the road as we're going to redo the foundation because we have to take care of that we might going to extend this area we'll see like cost wise and just how it will work out but definitely our goal is to make it somewhat functional and cozy for this summer so i'm thinking to paint um we're gonna need some furniture these are 
it's just really on the last leg it's really it's literally falling apart like it's yeah it's not good if I could buy again the same thing I would because I love this so much but we probably need a stronger and bigger table we bought this when the boys were very little so at that time it served us well but now we need something that is more sturdy I wanted to plant out the things from the greenhouse but this lovely weather is just not <laughs> going to encourage me to do that we're going to do this in the next couple of days hopefully when it's a little bit more sunny these are beans and then from here it's all peas let's go check out the greenhouse this has been going very nicely it's starting to turn yellow so i need, really need to plant these out and on the back and i got more peas over there so these are ready to go outside and these are my mysterious <laughs> seedlings um, yeah it's gonna be a um, surprise so I got more nasturtiums just in case I never wanna have a summer without nasturtiums I love to decorate with the flowers I'm going to plant some flowers around in the garden so that can attract more bees so these are the herbs oh there's more <laughs> orange mint oregano and this one is i'm not even sure so this one is really fun so as i'm rubbing the leaves uh, i can feel a very very lemony but spicy scent i have some chamomile so these are the strawberries that we moved with us there was only a few of them and if you remember the dares eat most of them so they're looking very good at this point and we got more okay one second it stops raining the next one it's hailing <laughs> well that's april this is what we have in april adding this task to the everyday list so one load of laundry one loaf of bread <laughs> each day because it's just so expensive it's cheaper to make at home i know it's gonna be all good ingredients and since i have the bread making machine it will be an easy task
so while the cookies are baking, I want to show you guys a book that I find. Okay, so I find this book at our farmer store. <laughs> and this is such a funny book. It's called How to Speak Chicken. And I really love the pictures in there. I find many interesting information in there how the chickens are communicating and they are actually pretty smart animals. So I really like this book. And the other one I picked up, it's called the Healing Herbs. So this is something that is my interest for sure. So I'm looking into growing more herbs and just create more homemade lotions and um, you know all those fun things. <laughs> And the other thing that I promised is making a soap and I started to read that book. I don't think I have shared this one here, but this is, this is the soap making Bible. This has everything, all the informations like how the colorings can be done with all natural options and um, what base carrier oils I can use and uh, talks about all the ingredients, how, sh how we should mix them and just basically a source of wonderful information and I was planning to make a uh, soap in this video but to tell you guys the truth I went to um, an acupuncture therapy yesterday and it worked amazing the doctor I've seen he's really good so it helps with the lymphatic drainage that I had issue with I had some swollen ankles and things like that and it helps with the liver and the kidney function so that's what we worked on but right after the acupuncture I got so tired and I'm still tired so it's been 24 hours but my body is detoxing and I just feel so exhausted <laughs> It's like I don't have my usual energy. Cookie is done. And I cut up some oranges with some mint leaf. It's so good together.
Wow. This higher roof will give a protection for the chickens from the sun and from the rain but it's going to be a lot higher than what we have right now so I'm pretty sure it's going to be a nice feeling for them to be in a bigger space. Some people are struggling with their laundry. I'm struggling with my pantry. <laughs> Okay, that thing, we tried that. And this is the second time I give a chance to that. Mm -mm, it's not good. I mean, at least we don't like it. So I'm just going to cook this and give it to the chickens. to save some time and I didn't want that to go to the counter top okay let's bring the vacuum cleaner <laughs> so today is not any better than the yesterday I, I still feel very loopy drowsy tired so i think it needs a couple of days oh yeah jot is here yay <laughs> what are you doing he's pulling up the garbage <laughs> he hooked it on the car <laughs> regrouping things <laughs> it's just nothing goes as i i planned <laughs> whatever i touch it turns out to be a disaster it's okay. It turns into the disaster. I can't even talk. <laughs> yeah, that's my day today. <laughs> the last two days, I feel like I'm forcing things. I'm trying to turn it into something good, and it just turns into something worse. I just feel tired. Me too. I just got home from work, but I need to get on that roof and finish the roof. Do you want to work on the roof? I don't want to, but I have to. Oh, you don't have to. I do. You because, can skip uh, a day or two. No, rain is coming in a couple of days and now I want to oh, get rid of that eyesore down there. We can take off the tarp as soon as the roof is done, so higher. I think they're gonna enjoy that. It just feels more spacious that way. Yeah. Okay, the pantry is starting to look really nice. I, I have to put a lid on this one. But otherwise, I think everything is looking way better. I put the sweet potatoes into some paper and I wanted to show you guys this one. This is something I really love to add to my soups. It can be a very simple soup. I'm just um, using some beef hot dogs that I sliced and some cabbage and I'm going to add to this to the water and it definitely more tasty that way and i bought this at grocery outlet so you know if you buy something at grocery outlet it is way cheaper so if you see these these are amazing
So I have some bacon in there and some beef hot dog, organic one, some cabbage and caraway seeds. And I'm going to cook them a little bit and add some water. And after that, I'm going to add two of these. I turbo charged the burning barrel. It was not burning fast enough. So once Joad has finished the back, then we can take out the bottom, like take off the tarp and just put the wires on the side and then eventually down on the road we are going to add more buildings on this side where we can keep all the gardening tools and things like that also we're going to extend the garden so we're going, we're going to have the fence somewhere here so that will give us more area where we can have vegetables uh, that's the official moment the last tarp will go let's switch place oh, I don't know if I cut it yet. Ooh, it's really raining chickens are going there what are you doing yeah they're asking what are you doing did you hear that yeah. are you guys excited you are going in there with empty-handed yeah they're gonna eat you <laughs> It's pouring rain. So much nicer. It's gonna be a better feeling for them for sure. Oh, we might have to cover that hole there. I didn't yeah, see yeah, that. Yeah, because something can, like a raccoon can come yeah, I'm gonna put through that. Yeah, I'm going to put chicken wire there. I was going to put some boards, but I think uh -huh. we need that little light right there. A piece of carpet. Last piece. Down. Yay. This is going to be look amazing once you finish the sides and we can start to remove this cage thing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to can you come out from the cage because <laughs> we got a giant rooster in here <laughs> so what you were saying <laughs> I don't know I'm gonna put a few more things over here for them like a playground like board and so kidding and jump up there yeah 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 like a playground Ooh, yeah. that's gonna be so can we put a swing in there <laughs> that look on your face <laughs> they can get bored very easily that's when they can pick on each other So the next time I'm going to show you guys this, this whole cage thing will be gone and we're going to have a wire around this area. But for today I think this is where we're going to stop because it's very raining. I mean Joat is going to be outside but I'm going to go inside. It is really raining again outside so it is very nice to be inside and I'm going to eat my hot soup and I just want to say that thank you so much for watching until the end of this video and I cannot wait to share that with you guys how we move forward with the chicken coop and the rest of the outside area and thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon in the next one bye